and I are currently in Krakow, but we just got back from Auschwitz and Birkenau and we were there all day. The bus picked us up at like 10 o'clock and we just got dropped off there. We didn't do a guided tour, but it was pretty crazy to actually be there. Um, but it was a really good day. Uh, but we didn't take the camera. We didn't want to like film it. It seemed a little bit weird. But now we're gonna go explore in the night. Sean's taking me to a calf that he went to last time he was here. What is it called? Uh, Les Couleurs, a Couleur Café. It's like a French thing. And it's in Kashmir. That's how you say it. Kashmir, yeah, Kashmir. The Jewish Quarter of Krakow. So we're gonna go there and see what's happening. so hard. I love the outside, like eating areas with the fire and the heating lamps. It's very nice. <laughs> we just went to a bakery. We didn't film it because I was too into the baked goods. <laughs> but Sean got a cheesecake and I got this pastry. I actually want to show it. It has plums and like crumbled stuff for dessert. Oh, damn. <laughs> But we're gonna go home and cook dinner because we're hungry and I'm gonna put this back in here and not eat it. Good morning. <laughs> we just had breakfast and packed up all of our stuff at our Airbnb because we're going to a different one today. But we are off to Babel Castle. <laughs> yeah, that's how you say it. I don't know how to say anything and Sean knows he basically Small speaks mouth. Polish. No, I don't speak Polish. <laughs> But we're um, off to the castle. Just went and I got a postcard which I'm gonna send to my grandparents. Over here, there's a bunch of Roman ruins. Not really much to see. And then behind me is the cathedral, um, which we didn't get tickets to. I think you can go for free anyway. Uh, so we have an hour and a half before we can actually go in the day thing. So we're gonna go get some food and then the next time we'll be back uh, we'll be on in. Okay, so 
So we just dropped off our bags at the um, baggage room. Baggage room. <laughs> yeah. That place. Sorry. That place. Yeah. That we just dropped because they can hold your bags. It's a place. And we had to check out of our Airbnb. If you have baggage, it's a place that you know what I'm talking about. You put your. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it's our time. I think it was a bag. On a our ticket, room? it's the and. <laughs> It's our entry time to go into the state room, and so now? I do have to carry my sweater, which is unfortunate. They wouldn't hold my sweater in the room, but anyways, we're going to go in. Okay, so we just went through the state rooms of the castle. We couldn't photograph or take videos, but it was really, really nice. I mean, it's hard for a castle to not be nice, I guess. <laughs> and now we're just sitting down for some coffees because... Um, our entry for another exhibit is in another hour or so. So we're just having our coffees. Sean did a really good job carrying the tray. <laughs> Which is part of Sweden as well. Mm. And that's in the central central one. And then on the bigger shield, you've got the Polish eagle, and you've got the Lithuanian knight. Those are the symbols. That, uh, in the very center, in the small one, is a symbol of the Vasa dynasty. So this is the Swedish one. I think those are the Swedish Vasa signals. Lesson of the day. So we just picked up our bags at the castle, which is free for them to hold it if you have a ticket. I we went through the Lost Va Vavel, um, and it has a bunch of the old castle ruins, and it was honestly cooler than the state rooms, which I didn't think it would be, because we love looking at state rooms, because they're usually quite stately. <laughs> but like, very extravagant. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see all the ruins, and the way they had it displayed was amazing. What did you think? Yeah, it was awesome. It's not only just ruins, it's the foundations. So it's underground, above ground, I don't know. But it's, yeah, it's really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. So now we are on our way to the our third Airbnb of this stay in Krakow. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go find that now. The old building, very old street with crazy Nothing ornate details. <laughs> <laughs> kinds of sneaky little things that you don't probably notice on your first roll through like if you put the camera up there see that painting I don't know who it is of of course but I mean I've been in the it looks like the Virgin Mary probably yeah, I've been in this square like 50 times never <laughs> noticed it and then behind us on top of that building there's another sculpture or painting of some variety I don't know hmm so there's so many things to look at. It's like you, how many times you need to walk down here to catch all of it. He plays every hour on the hour. Um, and it's supposed to symbolize, I forget what year, but the, the Tartar invasion of the, where are we, Krakow. <laughs> so when he's playing, he's playing, and then he'll instantly he'll cut it off right away. The story goes that um, he was playing to warn the citizens of the Tartars invading, and he got hit by an arrow and killed them mid-song. So when they play now, he just mid mid-song. Yeah, mid I didn't even expect him to stop. Yeah, to I guess replicate the the, the myth or legend that he got struck by an arrow. Oh my 
Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Here's the bedroom. Wow. Oh, look at the little chandelier. Nice little galley kitchen. Toaster. <laughs> Hey, first place to have one of those. Good enough. Oops. Look at this cute little living room. What's this? Oh, the bathroom. Cute, smallest sink ever, but a huge shower, and there's washing. Taking a lunchtime walk while Sean's on his lunch break. Haven't really been doing much today. Got a little statue action. <laughs> Got some leaves. Got some buildings. Nobody solves a problem like Maria. Stumbled upon this really nice square that I haven't been to. Sean probably has. Probably. Really pretty. These are extremely popular in Krakow. There are stands all over the square, and they're only one zloty, which is like well, twenty this cents. One was one. Twenty p. Sorry. But the other ones are two mm -hmm. zloty, so it's between one and two zlotys, really. So, like fifty p. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> yeah. It's such like bagels with really large holes, and they're not sliced. Yeah. So you literally just eat them. There's cheese, sesame, poppy seed. And they're really good. These are apparently the precursor to bagels. They're from Kashmir, the, the Jewish quarter. So after the war, I don't know how true this is, but I was told after the war, when, or during the war, when all the Jews who were able to get out fled to America and New York, that's when it became a staple of New York. It was because of Krakow Jews. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. But that's what I was told. Sounds I'm like it could like be true. Believe it. Yeah. We're going on an after dinner walk. Going on an after dinner walk. Sean made spaghetti with chicken. And now we're going for a walk. And maybe sweet smock. And maybe sweet smock. Din, din, din. Din, 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 din. Din, din, din. Do some footwork. <laughs> okay, let's go on our walk. What skill level of variety? That's cool. <laughs> In the rumor of the founding of Krakow, so some guy called Crack, I think that was his name, slayed a dragon on the hill where the castle is now built. So the myth is that the dragon lived underneath the castle. Um, right through there, and there's an exhibit. You can see the gate. You can't the really darkness, see it. But there's a gate the there. Dragon, this is what they call the dragon den, which I think is more or less for ch kids. <laughs> Alright, so we've come to the rooftop of this hotel, and this is our view. We have the castle, and the cathedral, and the river. And we got ourselves some cheeky bevs. <laughs> so I got a mulled wine. And Sean has a hot chocolate with cherry vodka. Is it good? 
Um, places here have a lot of nuts in the mold white and raisins. There were raisins in the last one I had, which I'm used to just orange and cloves and like cinnamon. But it has orange and walnuts. I think that's it. So let's try it. It's very hot. <laughs> Oh. That's good. <laughs> 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 We, 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 we just got some grocery. There's sugar all over me from my donut. <laughs> Jamie got a duh, 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 donut. Got groceries because we booked another week in Krakow. So we could get more groceries. <laughs> Saving money, falling on a budget. Oh, 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 oh